Hi, this is Professor CC19, and today we're playing level 307 on our quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga, where we have 40 moves to clear out 45 jelly. Now this is a hard level, and there's quite a few things contributing to the difficulty here. We have six different colors, we have four layer thick frosting, we have the board divided into these little sections, which makes it even tougher for us to make matches and specials. And we have these chameleon candies, which will alternate back and forth between two different colors as we make our moves. Now, we were just introduced to chameleon candies at level 306. And in the previous video covering that level, I explained to you what they were. Today, before I start playing this level, I'm going to give you some advice and strategies on how to deal with chameleon candies on tough levels like this. And Really, the strategy depends on what type of player you are. The biggest thing with chameleon candies in the game is the fact that they're quite distracting. We have all these rainbow stripes that are going over the candies on the board, and they really catch your eye. So the first bit of advice I give is try to ignore these rainbow stripes. They're kind of a distraction. Just focus on the colors of the candy, not the things going over them. And the second part of the advice is, if you are the type of player who is very good at following the chameleon candies as they change, if you can see what color they are and then predict what they're going to be next, then I would recommend that you follow that and try and set up those amazing specials that you need to beat these levels. But if you are not very good at following the chameleon candies as they change, if you find them more confusing to you and you're struggling on these levels because of that, I recommend that you simply focus on the candies as they are at the time of your move. Don't concern yourself with the fact that they're going to change. Just focus on the best move with what you have at any given time. Don't try and confuse yourself even more by trying to follow them. So that's my advice. If you're good at following the uh, uh, if you're good at following the changes, then try and work with them. If you're not very good, don't confuse yourself by doing that. Work with what they are at the time. Do what you feel most comfortable with, and that way you'll be more likely to beat these levels. All right. So that took a bit of time, but that, with that said, I'm now going to start playing this level. And I'm the type of person who isn't very good at following the changes. So unless there's like a color bomb potential that I'm willing to go after, I'm going to simply try and strike the frosting where I can and remove the jelly by more of a brute force type strategy. And I'm going to start off by trying to work in the corners because those are the most difficult areas. Now sometimes the chameleon candies can really help you because as they change color, they can sometimes give you an extra cascade. So that's a good thing. Sometimes, not always. All right, so trying to work along the bottom and the sides, those difficult areas that are covered in frosting. And these top areas are a little bit more tricky, too. I will let you know that this is my fourth playthrough for recording purposes. So um, even with strategy, this one is pretty tough. You do need a bit of luck on this level. So if you're struggling, if you have mastered the chameleon candies in your mind and you're still struggling, I would definitely recommend bringing in boosters. All right, so still keeping with the same strategy. It seems to be working fairly well. Hmm, but right now I don't have any moves down here. That's the problem with six different colors. So I'm going to turn up here, open up this stripe, and then, all right, here we go, we got to reshuffle. And I, it looks like that's a good thing here, because that put us in position to strike more frosting in the corner. All right, let's see what the situation is now. Back to the point where we don't have any moves down here. So I'm going to go up here, make the only move I have. I don't know. Yeah, we're looking at another reshuffle here. Reshuffles are to be expected in this level. It's... um. Not the most fun of levels. You, oftentimes you won't have very many choices of moves to make. I guess just go with the best move you have at the time. Alright, this should work. Seems like these reshovels are really helping us. 
But I can go with a wrapped or a striped. Since we have all the jelly in this bottom row, I'm going to go horizontal stripe. When I activate that, it'll take out a lot more than a wrapped candy wood in the center. All right, keeping at it, we're about halfway through, so this is going fairly well. All right, now this is the point where I tell you there's something spectacular I'm seeing, and this is just with me catching a glimpse. But I saw that before this candy changed, it was green. So I'm going to try and wait one move for it to change back, and then I'm going to do a stripe wrap combo. So now what I want to do is try not to affect this area. All right, so I turn back to green. I'm going to make this move, and now I have something spectacular. Even if you're not very good at following the chameleon candies, occasionally you'll get a glimpse of something that can really make a difference. In that case, I'm not so good at following the candy changes, but I did see this, and it works. All right, so this is going to be a big impact move. Reduces my jelly down to 10, and we've dealt with pretty much everything on this right side of the board, with the exception of this. All right, so I'm going to turn my attention more to the left side of the board now, where I have more work to be done. All right, let's see here. I can make a raft. I can make a stripe. The stripe is just going to be here with another stripe. I think I'm actually going to go wrap this time. Let's see here. Trying to work more so in this area now. I notice we have quite a bit of purple in this area. Let me make, wait one move, see if this changes back. Uh, it worked, and now I can remove this frosting. All right, let's see here. 13 moves. We have 9 jelly. We have quite an arsenal of specials here. The question is, how can we get them to work? Mm, I think I see it here. If I do this, we have a stripe wrapped combo. There we go. All right, so this is going to remove this. It's going to take out the wrapped candy, which is going to strike even more of the jelly. And now we just have four more. One, two, three, and four. All right, so um, this is going fairly well. I don't want to fail this now, so I want to be very careful with the moves I make. I want to make sure I can beat this level here. All right, so remove that frosting. I'm still working in this area. All right, here we go. We have one, two, three, all single thick. I have a feeling that when the candy changes back, this might be ready to clear, uh, to be cleared. So let's see. I'm going to wait one move. I'm going to send this off. I'm going to see what happens. Yes. It was purple. I'm going to use it now. All right, five moves, two jelly, one and two. Hmm. I'm going to change the color setup here, see if that helps. It didn't. Let's see, can we possibly draw green through there? There we go, that worked. And now to set it off. Hmm. All right, so we have two moves left, and we have two jelly. And I tell you, this is a really tough level. I would be willing to use boosters if I can't finish this off. So I'm going to see what happens here. All right, there we got one of them. Now the question is, can we get this one? And I don't think we can manually. If I do this... It'll put two yellow there, but it's just a matter of luck if I get another yellow. I'm not willing to risk it. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to use a lollipop hammer, and I'm going to remove this last jelly. All right, so that's how I beat level 307 on my fourth playthrough with the use of one booster. And that's what they're for. If you're struggling with a level like this, I would highly recommend bringing in boosters or using a lollipop hammer in the end game when you're really, really close. But as for strategy, like I said throughout this level, I emphasize this. Do what you're most comfortable with. If you're good at following the candy color changes, go for that. Go for the big specials. If you're not so good, then go for the candies 
as they are at the moment. Don't try and confuse yourself with chameleon candies. Don't let them distract you as you play. Sometimes you will be able to see when they're about to change and when you have a large concentration. But it, even if you can't see that, you can still beat this level. You need some luck, but just keep at this one. Go what you feel most comfortable with. So, if you found this video helpful to you, please subscribe. If you're stuck on any particular level of the game, please leave a comment below. I will try and help you. And as always, thanks for watching.